Welcome to this tutorial where we will learn how to set up closed loop drivers and control the robotic arm bike and bus. First remove the original M3 bolts and carefully place the motor so it doesn't fall apart. Use the magnet that came in this ziplock. Don't be like me, use the super glue to secure it on the motor shaft. Now unpack the housing, PCB, and 4M 3x30 bolts. Carefully place the M3 bolts. We got four distancers as well but they are a bit shorter and would just rattle around, so I skipped them. You can 3D print them yourself, if you want. Tighten the bolts, preferably with washers so we have some space for the M3 bolts that will come from the other side. Cut the wires at least 5 cm from the end, because you never know. Other motors came with the connectors, so you can just skip this step. Use this professional crimpers only real robotic builders have. Check for the coils by shorting any two wires and checking for the resistance on the shaft. If there is a resistance, that means wires are from the same coil. Here is the caneable module. You need to short 120R headers and connect can H and can L. Connect the 12 volt DC with this special lab grade benchtop power supply only pros have. Configure the motor with these parameters. Test the closed loop control. Connect the caneable module and let's get onto the PC. I'll show an example on Linux, but you can make it on Windows as well. First you need to have Python can installed, 
and download convert and send Python scripts from GitHub. Let's use a G code to move the motor. But first we have to check the connection. If your cannibal module is on another port adapt the send script. Let's run the convert script that will turn G code into a can messages. Now we can run send script to move the motor. That's it. Hope you learned something new today. Feel free to check other videos, or hop on a Discord server.